toughest challenge, more moves than Carl Malone, and I think uh, that might have gotten under uh, Malone's skin a little bit. You don't want to say those things against the veteran like this. Corner set with a runner off the glass, and the battle for the loose ball as Peyton and Malone, and Peyton may have uh, stepped over Malone, and now exchanging words with the mailman. Well, that time, just keep an eye if we give you this play, because the ball is definitely up there. Peyton, Peyton locks the ball as he's going for it. Now, keep an eye on it right here. Here it comes. Now, you're going to see. Now, watch. Boom, there. Peyton just took that one right out and, and also got it off his shoe. And a technical foul called against Carl Malone. Oh, boy. I, now, Carl Malone is really hot right now. It was Utah's ball, but Malone gets hit with a technical foul. Although he appears to be under control here. And there's a lot of frustration here tonight. The reason being all of the contact that was going on. And it has been since they threw the ball up on the opening jump ball. Now keep an eye right here on Malone as he reaches in here now. And he's upset. Took him down. Because, yeah, yeah, right. Now just watch right there. And then he just pushed them off. Now, Gary Payton is saying something back to him. But the reason why Malone was hot is because Payton took him down with his left hand. Three seconds on. In five minutes, he had four fouls in the technical. So, yeah. <laughs> Depends how you look at the game, right? That's right. Askew has a shot blocked by Carl Malone. And we have a stoppage of play. And a foul call as they were coming up court, and that will be on Askew, his first. Now you can see they're looking for a flop on Russell, but Carl Malone recovers and gets the shot block. It's by Askew, like the Jazz recovered defensively. Plenty of time. 15 on the clock. Plenty of time. Here's Malone again. And Shrimp oh, gets boy. hit in the face and goes down. Yeah. Japanese calls the foul. Loose ball foul. Yeah, backhand slap by Carl Malone. He's very upset that he missed the layup. And then as that ball came off the loose and his shrimp picks it up. Now see, there's your lob pass. He lets, lays it up easy. Now just watch as you continue. He catch right there. Caught him with a backhand slap. Second on Malone. 78. Runners, Peyton has missed from that spot. Pull up and shoot a short jump shot. Kiss it off the glass. Malone and illegal defense against Seattle. Kowski and Malone get into it right here. And Malone takes a walk away, and Burkowski follows him with the stare. Get a look from overhead at Carl Malone and Burkowski as they break up. You can see Sam Perkins clearly in the lane for an illegal defense. Couple of guys, Burkowski and Malone, Carl calmly walking away. Burkowski, like Hawkins, the two guys that were brought in to improve the team chemistry, and they've done that beautifully for Seattle. On four minutes to play in the first. Out of the corner, Chris Morris, three-pointer, no. Malone trying to keep it alive, that is out of bounds, off Peyton into the Utah ball. Peyton paid the price that time in trying to get that ball. He had a major collision with Carl Malone. He Chris Morris coming out of the ball game. And if Morris is going to get into it, he had to have something happen at the offensive end. As you see Peyton go head over heels. But the Jazz are only down seven points. This is no demolition by any uh, stretch of the imagination. It's hit his first basket. It's a one-point game again. But a quick pass down low. And Kemp is fouled, and he'll go to the line. Got smacked on top of his head, and, you know, he wants to walk away, but at the same time, he wants to let Carl Malone know, I'm not taking this. A good post position, and they beat him over the top, but Malone is not going to give him anything cheap.
their way down court. Watch the battle being waged between Utah's Carl Malone and Sean Kemp of Seattle. Kemp with his penchant for foul trouble does not often guard Carl Malone. And we asked Carl, uh, what happened? What would happen if the two of them went? But that's been his streak his entire career. Beat people off the dribble, get himself some room. Then he starts passing the basketball. Get another whistle against the, the Jazz. And there is Bukowski and Malone going nose to nose. To nose. We expected this would get a little bit physical. This is number three on Bukowski. Well, this is intimidation. Michael Buffers was here. He should be calling this. <laughs> when the whistle blows, the players have to walk away and reset once the ball comes back into action. When they start walking toward each other, that's bad. Carl Malone, 0 for 2 from the line, gets counted down again. He is antagonistic crowd. Chanting out his name. He wants to take on the entire state of Washington. Sean Kemp looking for a way around Malone. And is fouled by Malone. Now, he just helped him up, and uh, you know, uh, they're, they're taking it the wrong way. I thought there was a confrontation. Sean Kemp is actually under control. Carl says, I don't want any help. Well, that's fine. <laughs> but this is a second foul here for Carl Malone. Usually, he's clean as a whistle on these type of plays. Well, he's one of those guys that plays great defense with his hands and got a little bit too much on him. But Sean Kemp is going to take the free throw. Kemp is in this game. He's played under control and not having to be concerned about foul. Jim Gray tells us Nate McMillan is back. Kemp wants to guard Carl Malone this afternoon. Malone goes in the last hand, doesn't fall. And now Malone losing his temper a bit at the other end. That's number three on Malone. The frustration for Malone. He had a shot. He thought he could get down. Sean Kemp playing perfect basketball today. No fouling. Staying completely within himself. I'd penetrate right at Carl Malone, who's ever guarding Sean Kemp, and get him another jump. Was it down? Hard to say. Don't shoot that one. <laughs> oh, Carl Malone is going to get tagged for a foul right there. So now there becomes a problem for Malone, who has not been able to get into the game at the offensive end. His fourth personal foul. Watch the elbow come up on Death of Shrimp. It's a big time show in the bank. That's number four of the game on Carl Malone. Well, the